Okay, once you've edited all your clips and you've added the titles, the next thing you need to do before you turn it in is add transitions. Okay? So if you've edited all your clips together, you should have a six second clip of each object and then the three different takes. The one where it's a sharp focus, one where it's a soft focus, and the one where it's a pole focus. Okay, you should have gone through it. Doesn't matter what order you did them in, but do all three clips of each object together. So you do the classroom, all three clips, then you do the drinking fountain, all three clips, and so on. But which objects you do when, it doesn't matter. There's, there's no order to that. Now, we want to add transition. What a transition is, is, let me just show you this. This just starts right into it, meaning it has no transition. And then it's going to change to the next clip. Okay, that's called a cut. A cut is when it just changes. A transition is when it gradually changes to the next clip or shot. So here's how you add transitions. Over here on the left, under content library, you'll see transitions. You just click on that. And then up here, it will show you a bunch of different transition options. For this project, feel free to use a variety of them just to kind of see what they do. But the one you most commonly use is called a cross dissolve. The only thing that I want you to do for sure is I want you to use a cross dissolve at the start, at the start of your video. And I want you to use a cross dissolve at the end of your video because by having a cross dissolve it fades from black into your video and then at the end it will fade from your video to black. And then I want transitions in between each clip. And those transitions can be any transition. Feel free to use a variety just to kind of see what they do. You just choose whichever transition you want. You click and drag it in between the two clips and it will add a transition. Now, one thing to be careful of, I'll dock points on your editing. Look at my very first transition. Notice that my three second um, title starts before the transition is finished. In other words, you see the words while it's still fading in from black. Don't let that happen. The way you stop that from happening is you click on the purple and you drag it so that it starts just after the transition. So now my transition goes, then my words come onto the screen. And same with the next transition, you'll want to adjust that if necessary. Transition happens, then the words appear on the screen. You don't want the words to appear during the transition because that looks confusing and sloppy to a, a viewer. So go through and add a transition of your choice in between each clip and add a cross dissolve at the start and end of your, of your entire video. And make sure that your Titles don't start until after the transition is finished. Don't get confused, by the way, if your clips were six seconds and now it says they're less than that because the transition eats up part of the clip. So you still have a six second clip, it's just part of it's during the transition. So as long as you had your clips at six seconds before you put the transitions in, then they're the correct length. I just want to go through and add these transitions to every every clip. And you'll want to make sure that you have the that the title starts after the transition. Okay, so go through and do that. Make sure you have transitions for every clip and that you have a cross dissolve at the end so that it fades to black like that. And once you've done that, come back and watch the next video and I'll show you what you need to do before you turn in this, this assignment, this project.